What is up everyone this is Kiran here welcome back to Tech Kiran YouTube channel where we have installed the Wave OS and you might have heard about this Wave OS which is now kind of a trending custom room which has very unique kind of UI a UI which is inspired from Oxygen OS the latest Oxygen OS UI as you can see the settings has the same kind of look here if you're looking for other things it has everything same actually like the Oxygen OS if you go for the Android version we have installed it on our Poco X3 it's available for the Redmi Note 8, Redmi Note 9S, Redmi Note 9 Pro, Redmi Note 9 Pro Max, Poco M2 Pro, Poco X3 and a lot more devices. For some devices it's official build, for some devices it might be unofficial build but this is good. This is the 4.1 version which is looking quite good and impressive. You can install it on your device very easily. I'm not going to share the installation right now. I'm just going to share with you some things about this Wave OS which we have installed on our Poco X3. First of all, as I previously told you, it comes with the Oxygen OS UI which has the Oxygen OS widget which doesn't say never settle, it say never better. So that's interesting. If you go for the home settings, it doesn't come with the Pixel Launcher and it also doesn't come with the Oxygen OS Launcher but the launcher which supports the icon pack and I've tried to apply the Oxygen, I, I, Oxygen OS icon pack which is not enabled by default but yes you can apply very easily by going to Google Play Store and download that icon pack for you. Like in my case I already have applied that which is looking good here because if we have the Oxygen OS UI it's better to apply the Oxygen OS icon pack. If you move on to the settings, as I previously told you, it's kind of Oxygen OS. So yes, all these icons and the fonts, everything is same like the Oxygen OS. If you were, if you wanted to use the Oxygen OS, but you don't like the Oxygen OS full custom room, like I don't use that because of some reasons, this might be a better choice for me and good alternative for me. If you go for the status bar, yes, we have some little bit of customizations like double tap to sleep, which is a very interesting feature. And including that, we have the icon manager where we can customize which icons we need on our status bar and which icons we don't need on our status bar. It's just up to you. Including that, we have the enable blurs option, dark theme. And yes, this one is the device specific settings, which is of course only for the device specific. Like in my case, I'm using Poco X3 here. So you can adjust according to your device, the display refresh rate, where we have the minimum refresh rate up to 90 Hertz. You can customize up to 60 Hertz or you can customize to 120 Hertz. Of course, if you use the 120 Hertz, it will drain your battery a lot. So just choose if you are willing to use that. Including that in the battery server, you can customize that refresh rate to 50 Hz or 60 Hz. It's just up to you. I, I even don't use a battery saver on my device. If you move on to the customizations, it only comes with the SN color customizations including that fonts customization, icon shape customizations and icon pack customizations. As you can see AOSP plus Oxygen icon pack is already pre-default actually but I still used the latest Oxygen OS icon pack from the Google Play Store which has better kind of theming than the default ones. Fingerprint face lock expectedly they are available here but app locker is not available unfortunately. The battery stats are looking quite impressive as you can see 20 hours plus screen on time which is actually not right if I show you the detailed usage as you can see we have kind of a very interesting graph and yes this is kind of the first room which I am using for more than 48 hours which is kind of impressive performance is good and everything else is good here even you can see the status bar icons are quite good Wo Wi-Fi Volti etc. System customizations has same kind of features which were expected, thermal profiles and game mode. This might also be the device specific setting like in my case I am using Poco X3 so this might be the setting only in Poco X3. Not sure about other devices but in this device yes this setting option is available. We have reset options and other things, battery storage. These are some basic things I just want you to let me know about this Wave OS which is a very interesting custom room. Link for this custom room in the description you can simply go and download that. This room comes with the Google Camera Go Edition by default which is looking good here and including that you can also use the Google Camera 8.1. In my case Google Camera 8.1 is there and it's working perfectly fine. We have the camera mode, video mode, etc. Everything is working perfectly fine. And also we have the OnePlus camera, which is not actually pre-installed, but yes, you can install it very easily. I have a dedicated video on that one too. Make sure to check out that if you want to install the OnePlus camera and OnePlus gallery on a device. Like in my case, I also installed the OnePlus gallery, which is working quite good. This is Oxygen OS, or you can say OnePlus 8 device gallery, which is quite impressive. You can install it on a device if you want to. 
these were the things i just wanted to let you know i hope you like this if you like this don't forget to like and share this video if you're new here don't forget to subscribe me thanks for watching and goodbye